for the tight end for Mitch. You let anyone steal history away from you. Since 1889, this, this is Syracuse, Syracuse football. football. What up, TTC? Suns Nero 06 here. How are we doing tonight? It is hate week again. And this time, my victims are the Washington Huskies. We had a great win against Akron on Saturday, but it's time to get back down to business and... This is not going to be as easy as Akron, that is for sure. Akron is not that good a team. Washington, on the other hand, is a pretty good team. It's not going to be an easy battle at all by any means. It's going to be a tough battle to win this football game. However, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I think this football team is going to deliver. But the only way we can deliver is if we execute. We need to execute like no other. And that means, on offense, getting that running game going. We ran a pretty vanilla offense at Akron. It's a lot of that offense that we haven't seen yet. So we'll have to see what Coach Maroon and uh, Nate Hackett have in the bag for this game. But I guarantee you, I'm pretty sure we're going to see more offense, more of the offense I don't think we went that deep into the playbook against Akron. And on defense, keys to the game. The only thing you can say is, got to rush. Got to get that pass rush going. We got to get to the quarterback. Jake Locker is a very good quarterback. I'm going to give it right to you, Washington fans. He is a great quarterback. He really is. Not only with his passing ability, but with his ability to make big plays out of broken plays. You know, if you flush him out of the backfield or out of the pocket, there's a very good chance he could turn it he could turn it into positive yardage. And if you give him time in the pocket, he's gonna burn you. So keys to the game for us, rush the quarterback and make sure we get we get body we, we put him down a few times a few put him down a few times. <laughs> wow. I can't even speak right tonight. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to say this right now. Even though the line is the line is big for this game and expect Washington to win big, I am not going to believe the hype. I know ESPN's hyping about Washington. But you Huskies fans, you have to realize your team is still a 5 and 7 team. You're 0 and 1. Okay? We're one and zero. You're on one. You can talk about how it's BYU. Oh, and how you you had to go play up in the mountains, and it was it was a first game, and yada yada yada. I don't want to hear it. Okay, you're not as good as everyone thinks you are. I don't understand why ESPN keeps hyping Washington like they're supposed to be some incredible team. Two years ago, they were zero and eleven, zero and twelve. They didn't even win a game. Last year, they were 5-7. and seven. Pulled off a couple of nice upsets. A big deal. So what if they beat almighty USC? Freaking Trojans. That was a bad year for USC, too. They won 8-4. and four. Pete Carroll was on his way out. Hell, anyone could beat USC with Lane Kiffin right now. Big deal. USC is not that good. And they beat Cal, too, but they beat Cal in a game that meant absolutely nothing. Washington is a 5-7 and seven team. At the same time, while Jake Locker is a great quarterback, I don't care how good he is, he still throws a lot of interceptions. And from what I've heard, he is their offense. They don't have any necessarily deep, threat, deep threats. They don't have any necessarily big playmakers on defense. They have a lot of special teams troubles as well. Let me tell you, this Syracuse team is hungry. They know what it's like to win now. 
this isn't a team that's still trying to find its way to win. But I'm telling you, this is a good team. This is a good Syracuse team. And even though no one expects us to win, we're going to pull the upset out in Seattle this Saturday in the rain and in the fog and in the cold of that stadium. I can guarantee it. We're going to bring it to you, Huskies. We are going to bring it to you. My prediction, we won by a touchdown, 27-20. Ryan Nassib has a big day. Delon Carter has a big day. Nice touchdown pass by Van Chu in the end zone. And, of course, on defense, lots of Doug, of Doug Hogue and Darrell Smith. Remember those names, Washington fans. Remember those names. Okay? Doug Hogue, Darrell Smith, Ryan Nassib, Delon Carter, and Van Chu. Remember those names because they're going to be all over you guys come Saturday all right we're going to win this game there's no doubt about it in my mind go orange beat the huskies i'm out peace